This is Doombox, and I am going to tell you about the Mystic Forge. So this is going to be my next video in my series design, mostly for newer players. So it's going to be more of just a broad overview of what the Mystic Forge is. But there's also going to be a few tips in there for the more advanced players on how to use the Mystic Forge a little more effectively. Well, I've been flapping my gums away for longer than the lifespan of a moth. So let's get back to basics. Okay, so the Mystic Forge, known on the streets as the Mystic Toilet, which you'll find out why it's called that in a little bit, is the big blue swirly magical crafting station you may have seen in Lion's Arch. There's also one in the Divinity's Reach Country Club, also known as the Royal Terrace, or the Captain's Airship, but both of those require passes to get in. And there's also one in all of the Borderlands and in the Eternal Battlegrounds in World v. World. Or, if you've got money flowing out of your wazoo hole, you can buy the Mystic Forge conduit components on the trading post and access it from anywhere. But, definitely the most popular and commonly used one is the one found in Lion's Arch, currently located in the Western Ward. So basically, the Mystic Forge acts as a prison for the Elonian djinn named Zamoros, and you have to put in four items, and Zamoros will give you one item in return. Sometimes the item that you get in return is determined by a preset recipe, other times it's pure random chance. We'll talk about recipes in a little bit, but first we're going to cover the random aspect of the Mystic Forge. You can put any type of any rarity of armor or weapons into the Mystic Forge, with a few exceptions, but for the most part you can throw any type in. And if you do this, the Mystic Forge will spit back another random item of similar rarity to you. Now we don't know exactly how the Mystic Forge determines what item you get back, but there are a few things that we have figured out. For example, if you put all of the same type of equipment in the Mystic Forge, it's guaranteed you will get that same type back. So if you put four great swords in, it's guaranteed you're going to get a great sword back. There's roughly a 20% chance that it will upgrade that item into the next tier of equipment. So for example, if you put four masterwork items in, there's a 20% chance you're going to get a rare item back. Fun fact, you can also do this with your leftover runes and sigils, however, it only works if they're all the same rarity. So you're probably starting to see that the Mystic Forge can be a way that you can make tons of money, while at the same time, you could also easily flush all of your money down the toilet, which is where it earns its nickname, the Mystic Toilet. Since there is that small chance for the Mystic Forge to upgrade item quality, people will spend hundreds and hundreds of gold making level 80 rare weapons to throw into the Mystic Forge in hopes of getting an exotic precursor item which is used to craft legendary weapons. And some of these precursors are worth quite a bit of gold on the trading post. Now the chances of this happening are very small, some people will get super lucky and find, like, dusk on their second try, and boom, there's a free, like, 1400 gold. But then on the other hand, you've got people who spend, like, 2000 gold crafting rare uh, greatswords just to throw into the forge, and they get nothing in return. So they ended up just wasting all that money, and people often get very aggravated with the Mystic Forge when this happens, and that's where it earns its nickname, the Mystic Toilet. Now, in my professional opinion, if you do want one of these precursor weapons, I would not recommend gambling in the Mystic Forge to get it. I would say just save your money, buy it off of the trading post. Or you could just wait until the new expansion comes out where you could craft your own precursor. Sure, there are a few exceptions, but Mostly, people end up very, very disappointed when they try to gamble. But if you're absolutely just dying to gamble and you need to satisfy that gambling urge, I'm going to give you a tip on how to do this without losing all your money. Instead of spending a bunch of gold buying or crafting level 80 rare or exotic items to throw into the forge, what you can do is, with any leftover dungeon tokens you may have, buy three of the cheapest exotic weapon from the dungeon traders. So any of the offhand items like a warhorn, a focus, or a shield, they all cost 210 tokens. So you're going to buy three of those and then take a mystic forge stone, which you can get through long login rewards or achievement point rewards. If you played for a small amount of time, you've probably got a bunch of these just sitting around doing nothing. So what this Mystic Forge Stone does is it acts as a fourth generic exotic weapon, which means you can get any type of exotic weapon in the game. So even if you throw in three Warhorns and a Forge Stone, you could still get Dusk, 
the Precursor Greatsword. So that's why I recommend buying the cheapest dungeon token weapon because once you use a Forge Stone, you can get any type of weapon in the game. So it really doesn't matter what you use, may as well buy the cheapest one possible. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you some of the other things you can do with the Mystic Forge. Now, a lot of these preset recipes require special Mystic Forge ingredients, which you can buy from this chick standing next to the Mystic Forge named Miani. Just talk to her and she's got crystals, Philosopher's Stones, Alonian Wine, all the stuff you could ever want for your Mystic Forging needs. You can use the Mystic Forge to upgrade your crafting materials into the next tier. So you can go from tier 1 to tier 2, tier 5 to tier 6, tier 4 to tier 5, whatever you want. Now just a word of warning, there is a little bit of randomness associated with this. You get a random number of materials in return, so you could easily end up losing money doing this. So just check market prices to see if it's more efficient to just straight up buy the next tier of material instead of doing it this way. So each recipe is a little bit different for each type of material you're doing. And if I were to go into detail of every single recipe in the game, this would be like a 500 part video series that you have to like order on DVD in like chunks. So like, I'm not gonna do that. You can easily look them up. I'll post a link in the description that shows every single recipe for doing this in game. Now the Mystic Forge also has some preset recipes to make some of the coolest looking weapon skins in game. There's a bunch of different recipes out there for different weapon skins. Some of them are pretty cheap. Some of them are pretty expensive, like legendary weapons, for example. Now, like I said before, I just don't have time to talk about every single recipe, but I'll post a link in the description that can show you some of the really cool weapons that you can make using the Mystic Forge. Now, there's a buttload of other different things you can use the Mystic Forge for. There's a bunch of recipes and a bunch of cool things you can do with it, so feel free to experiment around with it yourself or look up research of what other people have figured out you can do with the Mystic Forge. There's some really cool things. For example, if you combine a fine journeyman and master's salvage kit along with three Mystic Forge stones, you get the Mystic Salvage Kit in return, which functions in the same way as a master's salvage kit except it has two 250 uses. Pretty cool. So in the end, the Mystic Forge has a lot of really nice practical uses like material promotion, Mystic salvage kits, ascended equipment, sweet looking weapon skins, and a whole bunch of other nice things. But at the same time, it could also be your worst nightmare if you flush a bunch of gold down the toilet trying to gamble with precursors. So have fun with the Mystic Toilet, but just be sure you don't fall in. So that pretty much wraps it up for this quick video. Let me know if you liked it or if you hated it. And feel free to give me feedback or suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos, whether or not you like this basic beginner sort of overview style video, or you'd like to see me go more in depth with a specific aspect of the game. Um, yeah. So I've been getting a lot of questions about my guild KOE, whether or not it's still around or if we're recruiting again. And yes, we've recently restructured and we are in fact recruiting new members again. If you're interested in joining my guild, check the video description for more instructions on how to go about joining. And yeah, I apologize for the random like change in mic quality. Um, I recorded the audio for that video like a month ago and I'm just now getting around to editing it and I'm like in a different place with a different microphone and like I... It, yeah, it's a long story. I know it's weird. Um, nobody cares. Whatever. I'm still talking, and the video's over. Bye. This is Doombox signing out. Gosh, it feels so awkward, like, talking to a microphone.